We're going to generalize a little bit uh, further with, with fluids in motion. Um, for the, the last equation, the V1A1 equals V2A2, the continuity equation, we really just looked at wh what happens when the uh, cross-sectional area of our pipe or our container changes. Uh, now let's let's go a little more generally and say that you know that might change. We also might have a change in the height of our pipe um, as a result of those two changing. The the flow rate, the speed um, of that fluid might change, and the uh, the pressure might change as well. So just very generally, we need a way to describe these problems. Uh, and so for that, we use what's called Bernoulli's equation, and this is how it's written out on the AP Physics B. Um, exam, and this this may seem a little bit uh, you know, out of left field uh, when, before we, we see how it's derived. Um, but uh, just just a couple of notes here. This P that's pressure, and this rho here and here that's density. And then we've got G. This is the 9.8 meters per second squared. Y is the height or the y position, and then v is the speed. Saying that if we do this operation for any point on this pipe, then we should get a constant value for that. Um, so we would consider a situation like this, where we have you know, maybe a different thickness of pipe at our initial uh, from what we have at our final state, um, maybe a different speed at each point there, different pressures at each point, and different um, heights or y positions at each point. Um, so really a lot could be changing in these problems all at once. And uh, you know, it may seem a little overwhelming at first, you know, where do I go with this? But uh, you know, go back to, to our study of um, just objects before we started fluids. If this were a ball, that started here and it were rolling up some hill, uh, you know, maybe with, with some force pushing on it or some force uh, retarding its motion, uh, you know, how would you solve that one? Well, one way we could do it is through conservation of energy. So in that situation, we would say that um, initially we have um, you know, some gravitational potential energy, some kinetic energy, and maybe some force doing work on it. So we'd say, Work initial uh, plus whoops plus uh, kinetic energy initial, and I'm going to switch to the uh, the not instead of one and two. Whoa! There we go. Be consistent with the uh, AP Physics B writing of of things. Um, plus gravitational potential energy. That's U G not. That has to be conserved. That's the total energy. We're saying total energy initial is equal to total energy at some later point. So that'd be the work done in our final state plus the kinetic energy done oops, in our final state, uh, or that, that it has in our final state, plus the gravitational potential energy that it has in its final state. And so we would have would then go on and substitute equations in here. So we've got force times distance, and that'll be for our um, uh, initial side, uh, plus one-half times uh, oops, mv squared, v naught squared, plus uh, mgh naught is equal to the force times the distance, Make these both initial, force times distance plus one-half mv squared plus mgh. Okay, well, when we deal with fluids, though, you know, what mass do we work with? That's, that's kind of tricky. So, you know, we might, instead of thinking of mass, treat this with density. You know, density is sort of the fluid equivalent for mass. It, it involves mass. It's mass over volume. So I see I've got a couple of terms here that have uh, mass in them. What if we just divided everything by volume so that that mass turned into density instead? So let's see what changes we get when we do that. So this will be divided by volume, and this will be divided by volume, and I guess I don't need to uh, make that subscript because volume remains constant. We can't get rid of uh, 
uh, we can't make our, our liquid take up more space or less space. Uh, okay, so over here we'll have one half mass divided by volume, that's just density. V naught squared plus mass divided by volume, density, times gravity, times H naught. And I'm leaving a little space for the, the work term. So plus one half density V squared plus, uh, whoops, plus our density times gravity times the height. Now force times distance divided by volume. Now that's that's a little bit um, more thought that goes into this. So if we think of our distance as just being something like this, we move this little uh, um, this little cylinder of water over to the right here. Um, so our distance would be right here. And then if we think of this as having a cross-sectional area of A, then the volume here would be equal to A, the cross-sectional area, times D, the height of that cylinder. So I can write this, um, this out as F naught times D naught divided by the volume, but I'm going to write that as A times D. Okay, and then over here, D over A times D. And we'll see that those D naught uh, cancels out and that D cancels out. And now we've got force divided by area. Force divided by area, that's just pressure. So the pressure initial plus one half uh, density times initial velocity squared plus density times gravity times initial height has to equal force over area, that's the pressure, plus one-half density d squared plus uh, density times gravity times height. Or the way that the, the AP folks give this to us, this is just conservation of energy. It says the side has to be equal to this side, and this is uh, just some arbitrary moment in time, so I can write that as, um, or think of this as, as set by the initial conditions. So I can write the pressure plus one-half times the density times the speed squared. Oops, not V naught now, just V plus the density times gravity times height, except they use a Y instead of an H for this part, so we use a Y, is equal to some constant value. So we go back up, that's the form of the equation that the AP folks give, and we can identify the, the terms here. This is a gravitational potential energy term, this is a kinetic energy term, and this is a work term, the force times the distance, but just everything is divided by volume.